In 1 John chapter 4, starting in verse 8, it reads, He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. For God is love. Sometimes we make the mistake of allowing our definition of love to define God instead of allowing God the privilege to define himself. Since God chooses to be coined with this word called love, you better believe the enemy is going to fight with everything inside of him to pervert the word love. And we see this in culture all the time where with phrases such as love is love or if you love me, you would celebrate and accept my decisions even if they're clearly against the word of God. You see, if God is love, his word is the content of his love. It is helping to bring imagery and expression to what true love is. And any feelings that war against repentance are demonic in nature because love fights with everything to, to help someone see their created value and their and love knows no price too high love doesn't know price tags because love is God's love is unconditional. It will go to the depths. And I want to show you that it says here that in verse 9, in this, the love of God was manifested towards us. So right after he says God is love, he then says how it was expressed, how it was manifested. And he says that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. So he expressed his love by sending his best, sending something that comes from him that express that the bible says that jesus is the expressed image of god that that if god came as a man jesus perfectly represents the character nature and expression of his heart and thoughts and then in verse 10 it says in this is love not that we love god but that he loved us and sent his son to be the sacrifice the eternal satisfier of the sin debt for all of our sins then it says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we also love one another. He says, I'm defined by love, number one. Number two is the, the definition of love is my son. He expresses what love is and who I am. And he says, I'm asking you to reciprocate and to express that definition of love. And I want to show you in John 13, it says this, which... John wrote that letter, but then in John 13, this is where he got that content from. Because after Jesus washes the disciples' feet at the Last Supper, he chooses to wash their feet. The one who created their feet is now washing their feet. He takes on a degrading social task joyfully to show them humility, to show them his love. And then he says in verse 34 of 13, Jesus says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. What is he saying here? That the, com the new commandment that God is giving is that love is no longer just if you do this, if you do this. He's saying love is responding to people the way that he is loving them the way he's expressing love. That every time the disciples thought they knew what love is, Jesus did something to blow their paradigm. He did something to, to expand their grid and to raise the standard of love. And then it says in 35, by this we will all know, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. This is not just doing nice things for people or accommodating. This is a, a built-in motive that when someone loves you with the motive of the love of Christ, that there's no depth or height. That's why in Ephesians 3, 19, it says to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that the love of Christ is, is beyond comprehension. It is, it is only able to be expressed through, through, through actions that come from a deep reality of knowing Him. And that's why in John 14, he goes on to say that he 
who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will manifest myself to him. Number one, God chooses to be defined by love. Number two, love's definition is Jesus and his expression upon this earth. And then number three is that we are called to manifest and continue to express that definition to all we come into contact with because this is how the world will know God. Because God is love, but not your definition of love. But Christ is the definition of love.